we are going to be jumping into the third episode, which is called The Family of Jake Paul. I don't know how we're only three episodes in. I feel like I've, well, I have already watched three hours worth of this, and so have you. Um, so anyway, we are going to jump into it. It has a disclaimer at the start, which is always lovely to see. This video contains discussion of personality disorders and is meant for entertainment purposes only, which is, um, an interesting trigger warning that you're getting when you're talking about sensitive mental health topics. It's only for entertainment. Please do not self-diagnose or diagnose others. Nay, this disclaimer was put in because, can we get tomatoes, please, in the chat and in the comments down below? This disclaimer was put in because Shane got so much backlash from the previous episode for the sociopath, you know, diagnosis, that he now is like, you know, don't diagnose people, don't diagnose people. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you're subscribed because so many people that watch are not subscribed. Thank you. Anyway, let's get in. Don't diagnose others. Don't diagnose others. Shut up. I feel trapped in the mind of Jake Paul. Yes, I'm stopping 12 seconds in. You feel trapped in the mind of Jake Paul and you're yet to meet him? We're three hours in and we're yet to meet him. What do you mean? That shirt is so nasty. And I want to get out. <laughs> so do I jump into the mind of Logan? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that shirt is like genuinely ripped. Like you're all not making a joke. I just thought it was like a raggedy looking shirt. No, it's actually ripped. Then again, this was during the appeal of like, I'm purr. I have no money. <laughs> wow, that is a... Interesting shirt. Present day. Oh my god, so, look at us twinning. Okay, I wanted to like he looks jump so in different. and do an update and oh. also a disclaimer and also an apology. That's a lot. <laughs> I, <gotta> go. <laughs> as bad as uh, I do actually want to apologize because there was some backlash and people feeling offended. Oh, I didn't know they... Oh, wait. Oh, as you can see... This is the last episode that I watched. Every time you say that I hear I'm purr and it makes me smile, ha ha ha. Everyone always makes fun of me. I say purr. Whenever I was watching this in 2018, this was the last episode I watched. I dropped off after this because I didn't know the context. So if you don't know the context, I'm in the same boat and we're doing this together, right? Like, I've got you. But this is interesting. I don't remember any of this. I love that he is addressing the backlash straight away and i can't wait to see how he gets out of it i've been feeling like i was making a horror movie out of an illness so by the way bitches he was getting backlash in the moment so this isn't me just reaching or disorder and i a hundred percent understand i think i got carried away with the whole like ooh, i can make this scary and i love editing scary stuff and like and i didn't completely think it through and then like to treat a person like a scary monster is like not cool and i shouldn't have done that so i apologize for that genuinely another thing i saw was people saying it's insensitive that you are like trying to diagnose jake without him knowing the truth is he knew the whole time did shane tell you what it is really about yes he did he told me before the series started what it was really about i was like yeah bro like go for it like let's let's do it in episode one i said do i think he's a sociopath no, I do want to sit down with uh, like a professional to get there. I want to sit down with a professional. Enter Katie Morton. The professional wasn't able to turn up, so we got fucking Katie Morton. On that. And I told him I'm going to do that, but I cut it out. And the reason I cut that out was because I was like, oh no, I want to be like more mysterious, which I shouldn't have done. There are things he doesn't know. This is definitely like new territory for us. <laughs> like... no. So that's what's happening. Jake is coming. You'll be in episode five. Today's Oh my god. You're telling me we have to sit through another two episodes that don't include Jake Paul? What? What? Hi! 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 Hi, is 
that possible? What? This episode is about his family. Now, this is the disclaimer part, his mom. I know she's not loving this series and she's taking it kind of hard and I understand. 100% it's her son, it's her family, it's like these are real people. Oh, right? was she speaking out against it? I didn't know Jake Paul's mom was um, speaking out against it. I mean, obviously, if we're currently three episodes in and you're just saying that he's the biggest piece of shit ever, I'm sure the family won't love that. These aren't just characters in a YouTube video. These are actual real people. And after learning so much more throughout the last month and a half, now I understand. Isn't his dad called Greg? and why the mom makes videos the way she does. And you're going to see some of her videos today, and you're going to be like, oh, it's not great. But then when you find out why, it just kind of makes sense. And now I feel kind of bad. She is probably the only person older than me who can really get through to him about most things. So I don't want, like, a bunch of people to go hate on Jake's mom. Like, I just don't want that. She doesn't deserve that. And you'll see why. But speaking of the family, so this is where it gets interesting. I talked to Logan. Um, I... <laughs> the fucking dramatic music in the background. Girl, let's just talk. Like, no music needed. <laughs> I, oh, I've been there's new one. of uh, Logan this whole time. And that's a fact! That's truth, guys. That's how life works. I didn't want to go into this, like, trying to expose Logan or talk about Logan. It was about Jake. Oh my god, jungle the music. I fell down the holes, and the more I realized and researched, and the more I learned about sociopaths, and the more I learned from Jake personally, and people in his family, and people that talk about Logan. I'm really nervous, guys. Like, it's my first a big scene in my first big Hollywood movie. I just wanted, I'm just, yo. <laughs> Kidding, this is what I was born to do, bro. The more I was like, uh, I can't not talk about this because it's Jake's brother. Which one's more attractive to y'all? If you had to say one of them, Jake or Logan Paul, who do you think's more attractive? Jake Paul, Logan Paul. That's a conversation I want to have. I would say Logan for sure. I mean, they're both not great, but, you know, I mean, we'll take rations, you know what I mean? They look like sharks. What does that mean? <laughs> Logan. Okay. Well, congrats, Logan. You've won over the muckers. They were raised by the same people. Like, this mm. is connected. I never talked to Logan directly and said, hey, just letting you know. Uh, Logan, but never ask me that question again. <laughs> because everybody Sorry. said I didn't have. Everybody's like, he's not gonna care. During care Pride Month, the Adam? Body. Why would he care about what Shane Dawson's doing on fucking YouTube? But like, that was how my brain worked. So he tweeted, I'm gonna make a response video to Shane's series. And I had a fucking panic attack. <laughs> uh, and started freaking out. So I DM'd him. Um, and he said I could share these. So I'm gonna share them. This is crazy that he's like, oh my god, Logan tweeted that he was going to react to the series and now I'm having a panic attack. Like, he hasn't already uploaded three episodes, basically calling them both sociopaths. That's a lot. <laughs> I said, sorry if you were offended that I kind of insinuated maybe you were a sociopath. And then he responded with, uh, yo dog. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> was it D-A-W-G? No, it was just dog. Oh, whoa. Yeah, we stand. <laughs> <laughs> I am like ner Oh my god, this is so weird. What is this? I no, I I gave up on answering that question a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. Yo dog, I think what you're creating is fucking incredible in all caps. Oh nice. Know about that one. I know you're a good guy with good intentions. I just feel like the audience might be slightly ignorantly misled, and I want to address a couple of Stay those away things. Stay I trust Shane Lowell. And I was like, whoa. First of all, thank you. Wait, so do you think you might be a sociopath? There was a couple things I didn't read in that message that kind of seemed like it. I was like, do you think you're a sociopath? Or like, what do you mean? And then he said, I'm on the sociopath spectrum. Okay. I never lose. So I'm not a therapist, and Katie's not around. And, and Katie isn't either. Who said that? So 
So I don't know what all this means, but I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna kind of go over it. He said, I'm on the sociopathic spectrum. I wouldn't say I'm a sociopath, but I would absolutely say I have sociopathic tendencies. And at the beginning of the year, I was at a place in my life where they got the best of me and they consumed me, which is when it gets dangerous, obviously. Did he really wear this outfit in the, in the forest video? Was this really the outfit he wore in that video? Girl. Dear Lord. Life is more complex than he's a sociopath or he's not. Jake, for example, definitely has tendencies as we all do, which is interesting as we all do. But he They're Shane going like, as we all do, like so unserious. Yeah, I mean, Shane's being like acting surprised that Logan's trying to insinuate that Shane is as well as if Shane didn't tick every single box in the editing portion of his video yesterday talking about it. Remember whenever he was like, oh my God, sociopaths, you know, will add sad music to their videos to make you feel emotion while he was playing sad music in his videos. So like, He's also nice and empathetic as fuck, and at random times, and off camera, he's so nice for no reason, like feeding the homeless. This is a trait he's had that I've always envied, which I thought was kind of interesting. Wow. That's, right? so, that's so wild. And by the way, there's sad music playing right now, so like, it goes against Shane's logic, but nice. Have the emotion. Whose car alarm's going off? ...of envy about somebody having other emotions like that. Right. That almost doesn't make any sense, but I, I guess it kind of does. But it's right. It's complicated, right? I said, do you feel empathy? Because it, if you feel empathy, then you're not a full sociopath. He said, of course I feel empathy. The level at which I feel it... Do this is Shane's high quality fucking interview, by the way, over Instagram DMs. Do you feel empathy? <laughs> First for each topic or subject, though. And then I was like, if you want to talk to me in person for the series, like, I'll, like, let you take control of that conversation because I'm actually very curious. I've never heard somebody admit that they had sociopathic tendencies. That is fascinating to me, yeah. right? And I don't know if he's manipulating. I mean, he's only acknowledging that he thinks he does because you're going to say he does anyway. And you already have, by the way. Me Or if he's like, I don't really know. But I have to respect him for saying that and for being like okay with me saying that he said that. I mean, you already said it. Yeah. And I mean, I've seen videos of Logan like at funerals, right? He's talked about this. He doesn't cry at funerals. He vlogged it at a funeral. Everyone is gonna die. <laughs> and I, I'm sorry, like I hate to be the one to break it to you, but death is, it's going to happen. It's inescapable. So he didn't have empathy in that situation, but is that his fault? No if he has sociopathic tendencies. And I think um, you're emotionally, uh, you can say I'm full of shit if you want. Nah, I know what you're gonna uh, say. You know, emotionally you're just not connected not. to death the way I am, for example. I, um, I think he is right. I shouldn't be pointing a finger and being like, you might be a sociopath. This series is so unserious. Because that's fucked up. I was wrong for doing that. But I'm really fucking excited about this new chapter because, like, this is a shit I'm interested in. Like, whoa. Logan Paul just said he has sociopathic tendencies. Logan, like, Logan Paul just admitted to that. And I like that because it makes sense. Am I the only one who doesn't think it's that deep? Yes. Yeah. If he would have just said that from the beginning and said like, dude, I have sociopathic tendencies. I was raised a certain way that made this happen. Trauma, whatever. And like, I don't have an empathy switch or something. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't turn on. And it didn't turn on. And it's a fucking disorder. I think everybody would have been like... Oh. Yeah, I think that's a good point that um, someone in the chat brought up, which is like, everyone reacts to things completely different. And it's really, really, really inappropriate to be like... You know, if you don't cry at funerals, you're a sociopath or whatever. It's very, very, very common for people to bottle things up. It's very common for people to feel uncomfortable showing emotion in front of others, publicly, all these different things. So that's why he shouldn't be making this series on, like, mental health because it is so broad. It is so broad. But obviously, he doesn't care about that. It doesn't fit the mold. Yeah. Right? If it's one in 25 people, there's a lot of fucking people hiding out there who are afraid to admit that they have tendencies like that. I guess they're not afraid. I don't know! 
<laughs> Maybe there's more than we think where, you know, there's a Ooh. quote unquote sociopath who's not dangerous or evil. Then it's like, okay, then that then that's like an right. exception, I guess. It's it's, yeah. it's it's wild. And then the last point I want to make is that we are not all abusive monsters or serial killers. A lot of us are just completely written off as abusive. And that's what Logan said in his first DM to me, that he said, I think people are getting confused and thinking sociopath and psychopath are the same thing, and they're not. He's like, I am not a psychopath. He's like, I'm not a sociopath, I just have tendencies. But I'm not a psychopath for sure. And a psychopath is somebody that was born that way, in their brain. A Don't be a drag, just be a queen. <laughs> sociopath is me. You guys saw it. My family is so lighthearted, and and although we did get serious and we did mourn, what we what today was was a celebration. Sometimes you might feel things, which uh, I think are okay as an actor. Like I'm feeling emotions. It's a good thing. Are we gonna fucking do an interview, though? Ooh, what even is that conversation? Iconic. I know. Logan Paul being like, yeah. Uh, tendencies. Oh, no. I mean, just being because I don't want to talk to somebody. That, oh you know, man. Just like, I'll, yeah. It's not my. Oh fault. yeah. Oh man. You've been wanting to talk to a associate, well, a person with sociopath tendencies. If it just happens to be Logan. Whoa. Oh, man. How many parts? What is this series? What the heck are you doing? Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Do it. No, his father, Greg, I've just like, I'm pretty sure also like years ago, his like sex tape, like, or like some video of him having sex was on like my Twitter or something like that. Am I thinking correctly? It was like everywhere on Twitter. Am I thinking correctly? Am I thinking correctly? Am I thinking of the right person? I think I am. Yeah, talk. Yeah, it was. Um, and I think that the dad just comes across as someone who is like pivotal person who peaked in high school. You know what I mean? Challenge all the Jake Paulers to do it. No, I can never be as cool as my dad. I'm never gonna be as cool as him. That was a long ass intro. A man child, yeah. Dude, what are you doing? Dude, I've been tased before. It doesn't affect me. What? God, they're just so fucking live. Researching. Oh, maybe if I go to his channel and search, like, oldest videos. Oh, yeah? Jake Paul, Daily Life 1. It's Jake Paul! Oh, so much Jake Paul music that I just don't want to hear. Let's go. Damn it. Damn it. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Light and insufferable. The first video you clicked on there. Not great. No. Let's see how it ended. <laughs> get him! Get him! Get him! Put him in there! Put him in! Go on! Put him in the water! Put him in! Put him in! Put him in! Put him in. Sorry. Am I hurting anyone? Yeah. Sorry. Property. What's up, guys? So that's the end of vlog day number one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go to sleep. I just don't see the appeal of like prank content. Never did. Never seen the appeal of like loud com like content like that. I'm super tired. <laughs> Not for me, love. <laughs> Not for me, love. Not for me. Not for me. God, this music is awful. I need to mute it. I just don't want to hear it. Your friends to beat each other up. Come on! Put them in. Laughing at a security guard. Am I hurting anyone? Yes. Saying you're gonna catch a girl with a net. Damn it. Mm. No dead body. True. Have you ever been around somebody like that? Like. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think we're going to be friends. <laughs> like, I don't think we're going to, like, hang out. Right. I don't, I don't. Why not? Sorry. I want to cancel this. Is it too late? 
I understand he's doing all of this for like dramatics. Like I want to cancel this and stuff, but it, there's something so ironic about the fact he's already uploaded two hours worth of content. Sorry, two hours and 13 minutes worth of content on Jake Paul before he's even sat down with him. And sorry, from what he said at the start of this, there's going to be four hours of content before he even speaks to Jake Paul. That's ludicrous. That's ludicrous. That is so... And all of these are like, dun dun dun, of Jake Paul. Jake Paul in the thumbnail of all of them. He's not in any of these fucking videos. Lord. Oh, Shane's lover. Hi, Cheeto. <laughs> I have hope. I still have hope. For this what? Is be f I don't know. <laughs> So researching the family. I feel like something I haven't done yet is uh, look into Jake's parents. Getting to know the parents will help me understand the child and why Jake is the way he is. Usually, I would just meet them. But luckily, both his parents are on YouTube. So, so this is it. I didn't know Jake Paul's mum was on YouTube. I knew the dad, like, posted, like, vines and stuff like that because, again, was, like, trying to bask in their son's, you know, fame and stuff and trying to message their fans, of course. I didn't know their mum was. I, like, know nothing about their mum. This is so unserious. This is exactly how I would call this. Dad. I have, like, no idea what to expect. What's I've this? heard weird things about the dad, but I've never I've definitely seen. heard stuff, yeah. Like, on, like, Phil DeFranco or Keemstar or... But Deji said that Jake Paul and Logan Paul's father, Greg Paul, he attacked a fan at the press conference. Fuck Jake Paul! Fuck Jake Paul! The haters will never, ever have an effect on the Paul family. We all make mistakes, Doc. The Paul family! Dr. Phil even said, hey, Logan's a good kid. GP's out. Right. I don't know. Team Sergio. I mean, I'm not going to judge yet because I have, literally have not seen him. What's this video called? This is called... <laughs> Sorry, this video is called Logan Paul's Dad is Extremely Creepy. <sighs> All right, I'll judge for myself. In light of recent events regarding Logan Paul filming a dead guy left me with a couple of questions that I'd like answered. The most important question being, why is Logan Paul Logan Paul? I got to thinking about that the past- It's like Addison Rae's dad. Oh yeah, we're watching Shane watching YouTube right A couple right of now. days, and I came to the conclusion it 100% has everything to do with parenting. And that's what happened here. So, whose nuts did Jake Paul and Logan Paul come from? Ooh. All right? The culprit here is none other than Vlog Dad Greg Paul. <laughs> what a username. You know what's happening, folks? And if you think this is cringy, we're just getting started. Ohio workout routine, savages only. Now my dad is like, yo, I'm a better kisser than you. I got more experience, bro. Dad, there's only one way to settle this. We have to kiss the same girl. So am I picking the girl? And then Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I do know about, yeah, I do know about this. Ooh. You have to guess, you have to say one, two, or three was the best, okay? Maybe All right. Four. Contestant number three, step on up. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Uh. After looking further into this video, I can confirm the girl was not underage, as many videos have claimed. I don't really know if that makes it all right, but. She's 22. I don't want to like, <laughs> I don't want to get involved in family drama, but I almost feel like that might be inevitable. I mean, I guess if- Bitch, you don't want to get involved in family drama? Can I reference the title of this video? The family of Jake Paul. This is like a whole deep dive investigation on why he is the way he is. Then we have- I love Shane being like, his mom's so sad that we're making this series. Let's make an entire episode about her. I mean, that's like, I mean, I, I went to school for psychology. That's like the number one thing that they talk about. There's like news about the dad. <laughs> After doing research, looks at famous birthdays. Wait, there's like news? Nick Crompton reveals Jake Paul's dad abused Team 10 members and employees. Greg Paul, the dad of Jake and Logan Paul, has reportedly 
completely taken over Jake and Logan's businesses. People had issue with being verbally abused, watching their coworkers be fired around them, and not being kept in the loop. Apparently, Greg Paul doesn't know how to act. He calls people and and derogatory terms at work. If that's true, then that definitely counts as verbal abuse, and we'll have to wait. I want to talk to Nick about that. Let's see if he wants to talk about it. Which one should I click on? My ears are crooked, or I stole Jake's diamond play button. What is what is this? What channel is it? <laughs> this is Bob. Is that him? Oh, that's him. Yeah. Calm down, Apollo. Apollo, calm down. Who watches this content? Oh my God. Good night, Lenny. Apollo, calm down. Who did that? Which one did that? You guys like my new shirt? Yeah, yeah. What happened? Dad is vlogging, and in the background, the dog is barking. And the girl's holding it, and then Jake and Logan are trying to tell the dog to be quiet. And then Logan grabs a plate and smashes it right in front of the dog. Really? And he's like, be quiet. Like, it's like a joke. And the dad's just like, watching. Like my new shirt. You guys like my new I didn't even catch that happening in the background. Holy fuck. It's not like I didn't even catch that happening. Oh my god. Bonnie, sweetie, it's okay. Ooh, my dog. It's barking. not like they kicked the dog or something, right? But they did like it to... the fact that they broke a plate that close to a dog. It's it on camera. And it's on camera and the dad and nobody's acting like it's crazy. It's weird. Yeah. Right? A hundred percent. I mean, it was Logan that did it. Not to stick up for Jake, <laughs> but Jake was like just kind of watching. Calm down. It's okay, buddy. Like that's next level. Uh, what are you looking at? He took his shirt off. Gone sexual with his son. Rich Moore, thank you for subscribing. They're exploiting him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you know what's, like, interesting to know about all this, which is, like, an interesting point as well? Like, Shane's looking at all these, and it's like, oh, my God, like, Greg is, like, taking his shirt off and, like, you know, being, like, really, like, weird in front of the fans and stuff. Didn't Shane and his mom go on, like, Omegle Tiny Chats and make, like, underage fans twerk for both of them? And that's a little weird, too. Um, I'm gonna hold my thoughts until I see more from mom. Are they together? I don't think so. I've never seen them, like, in the same place. Oh, wow. Mom's not even in dad's other channels. That's... What is going on? This is, like, too confusing to even understand. I'm gonna give everything a benefit of a doubt until I meet all these people. What I hope is going on is the mom has no fucking idea what's happening. And neither does the dad. And they're just vlogging. And then maybe somebody's making their thumbnails and titles. Yeah. Vlog mom and vlog dad is kind of campy to say it. Maybe you shouldn't say it. Oh my god, these fucking videos are so weird. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do I click on? Cause oh, okay, with eggplant. Wait, what? Oh, the eggplant. Logan and the eggplant. Oh, Literally. Oh, 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 I hate it. <laughs> Do I click on a hero or her talking about her son's dick? Yeah. That's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> I'll start with the TMI. This one fuck off fly has been flying around my room for the past hour. It's pissing me off. Wow, that was camp, actually. <laughs> I give my tens where tens are due. That was camp. That was a camp intro. Good for her. Quite obnoxious, but then again, this was like 2018. Sorry, I'm just getting really close here. Blair Witch Project. Hey! <laughs> that was Cam. epic. I'm not gonna, I mean, let's just keep it real. Fucking whoa, Transformers shit. <laughs> so far, I'm in. So today, I decided since there's not a lot going on to 
Watch Logan's vlog. I just had to comment and get involved. Is there, Shake is your there... parents' hand, which I liked as a what young... What do you mean? That's Greg's fault. Okay. Greg should have taught Logan to walk up to the door and shake parents' hands. That's the boy's job. I mean, the dad's job to teach the boy. Greg didn't do that either, though. Wait, so was the mom, like, just, like, beefing that... Oh, my God, that flying stuff? Off. Um... My window's, like, fully open. Like, wouldn't you, like, like to fly out and, like, see the world? I live by the ocean. Go explore. Um, is the mom just, like, shit-talking the dad on her YouTube videos? Camp. Yeah, family channels are worse enough. Parent channels? Oh, we live in hell. Wow. What, what, was she just, like, dissing Oh, yeah. Like, feud? Well, that not only was a feud, but that was, like, kind of telling. It was Cal. He didn't do that either. What does that even mean? I now, now I don't even feel bad about getting involved in family drama because they literally are doing it. They're having family drama in their vlogs. <laughs> literally, yeah. Why did dad beat my ass when I was growing up? <laughs> did I beat your ass? You, you, yeah, you, what'd you fuck up, dude? I don't know if you're gonna... <gasps> Does vlog mom reveal who she... Does, does vlog mom reveal who she likes better, Logan or Jake? Wait. She's kind of camp, actually. She likes better Logan or Jake. That's kind of camp. Ah. Shane just doesn't understand the campness of that. He's like using, using, that's as clickbait. <laughs> You. I Wait, she looks fierce there. Is yeah. she in the suicide force? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's just like... Oh my god, that... Oh! It just landed on me! Oh my god! Time and place! Can you fuck off? Now you're gonna piss me off and I'm gonna bring out the fly killer! It's right there. I want it dead. Um, yes, Shane did just make um a uh, Boris joke there. Ah! He's like using using that's as clickbait. Listen. Good afternoon, Pamela. How are you? I just she in the suicide force. <laughs> Shane, you can't make an entire episode about how triggering that episode or that video that he did in the forest was for you to then just make jokes about it in the next episode. Come on, let's at least pretend to be consistent here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's just like, I saw Logan's video. It did pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, here's my Q&A. Is that going to the, are you going to keep that in the video? <laughs> I mean, I, I Even Andrew being like, mm, should we include that joke you just made in the video? have to say a joke or else I'm going to have a breakdown. Okay. <laughs> Dad of the family! What? Dad of the family! Wow, what an awful existence. Look, even on, like, FaceTime calls him, Fly, you better. He's, like, videoing. Like, how awful of a relationship. Even intimate moments talking on FaceTime, he's filming it. Well, she's filming it too! She's not even looking at him! <laughs> the family. Are you vlogging? What's that? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm so excited. Look what came. Look. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, and he's looking through his camera. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I know. So I didn't open it yet. And she's looking at the viewfinder while he looks through his camera. I'm opening it on my vlog. With you on the phone. Okay. Look at the mess it's making. I'm glad that we can have real connections now. Let's <laughs> just both of each other vlogging. I know, right? Oh. Ow, I'm, I'm sorry. Ow. Hello? What was that? What was that? Oh, oh. What the 
the fuck was that? <laughs> Starting to feel sad for Jake, and then he fucking ruined it. <laughs> what was that? What? What? <laughs> Time and place. Oh. I okay. his mating called a Cheeto. I feel so fucking uncomfortable. What do I do? <laughs> Andrew, help me. <laughs> I don't know what. Okay. He didn't even pretend to wipe those big girl tears. He just moved on. Yeah. I've never vlogged a birthday gift before. I love you too, honey. Yeah, happy birthday. Okay, that is revelation number one. <laughs> Wow, he really tried to squeeze a tear right there and nothing came out. I'm gonna say something. So no, make that noise again. I wanna hear that noise again. Put everything in perspective. Think about it this way, right? Justin Bieber has done a lot of the same things that Jake has done, right? Like yeah, 100%. Speeding For driving recklessly through their neighborhood. And this is the kind of behavior that is unacceptable to be done by any- You're fake, right? Anybody, you were fake anywhere. Justin Bieber admits to cheating on Selena Gomez. Cops were called for excessive loud noise. Imagine if Justin's mom and dad were vloggers, and imagine if Justin Bieber's mom put up a video called Who Do I Love Better? Which Child Do I Love Better? and had Bieber in the thumbnail. I think as a society, we Oh, as a society, okay. We'd all be like, oh, that's so fucking sad. Oh, that's so sad for Justin Bieber, right? I think everybody would feel like, wait, it would be like a news story, it would be on TMZ. He keeps cutting in and out of fake crying. It would be like a thing. Yeah. Because Jake is hateable and fun to hate, it's like nobody's talking about this. Because it's on YouTube. Because Justin Bieber's not really a YouTuber. Right. But in, in the YouTube world, everybody's a character, so it's not like they're real people. Oh my god, Jake Paul's wearing a shirt that says hashtag Jake Paul's over party. <laughs> that is camp. That is camp. She's using his high school photos as a thumbnail. Like imagine your mom. Like imagine going on YouTube and seeing that your mom is your high school photos. Oh man. Right. Andrew, butt out of this one. Andrew, leave it. Oh, when you put it like that. And now Andrew's gonna be like, meh, 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 as well. Because that just seems so like. I don't know. Wow, for all this, and he really can't even get one single tear out. Oof. Wow. Do you think if he knew that 19 people, 19 million people were going to watch this, that he would at least try to get a little tear out? Wow. That's crazy. What the word is for that? <laughs> really, not, I mean, he's stressing that forehead out and not one tear. Not one tear, mama. That's crazy. Wow, look who's here. It's Jerrica. Time to go, guys. Yeah. I don't give a about your vlog. You're so mean to me. You need to leave. No, that wasn't mean to you. That's just like, that's what I'm saying. She didn't even look at you. Erica doesn't want to be on camera, don't you get it? I know. <laughs> so, morning, Jaker. You got sleep in you. He's playing sad music over this, right? To like feel sympathetic towards his mother, right? But if my mom showed up to my house with a camera on my face, I'd be like, girl, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love you, Bob. Love you too, guys. He walked out when Jake walked out. He literally turned back around after he saw his mom was down there blogging, like he didn't want to come down. I'm sure that the mom loves them, 
And I don't blame her because she, I think she's probably so excited that people are like watching and she has a vlog channel. Maybe she's feeling a little bit like, oh, I, I have a thing too. 100,000 subscribers, vlog mom. Look at that. I love it, you guys. And it's all because of you. But what was their childhood like? Were there no boundaries? And I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll ask Jake about it. I don't want to. How many times are you going to say I don't want to get involved in family drama? We're 26 minutes into a video about their family. Maybe he wants you to. Psychoanalysis you know. Shane. He knows, he knows how you talk to people on camera. Why is he wanting to do a video with you too? That's another thing. Maybe he kind of is hoping that somebody kind of swoops in and kind of... Or it's just good exposure. Helps him with... Andrew. Stuff like this. Like wow, if not he even actually one talks tier. about this stuff and is real about it, like that, that's good. Oh, I can't be asked with the sad piano music in the background. Oh, fuck me up. Which I can't do because people are going to say- Oh my god, is he trying to fake cry again? Say like, oh, you're fucking like trying to make him look good and you're fucking whatever. Like that's all you do, Shane. You cry with people and you make them look good. Like I kind of feel a little bad for him too. No, I get it. I mean, I definitely get it. I mean, maybe he's not, not one that bad. Tier. Maybe he's like, he just is a byproduct of kind of the people around him. Maybe that's not even who he really is. Team 10 is a dysfunctional family. My family is a dysfunctional family. Wait, Everything in my life is one big Wait, dysfunctional. Yo, yo, yo. It Oh my god, we're watching his draw my life. And so on. Right around this time, my dad bought my brother and I a camera so we could record our football games. Watch them back and see how we could improve. My mom would be the filmer and she was also our biggest fan. And our dad was the head coach of our peewee league team. Football aside, Logan and I took the camera and... Like, I'm not a therapist, but your dad's the coach. And then you have to watch it again and they tell you what you did wrong. I'm not a therapist, but let me tell you exactly what I was going to say and why I didn't need to give you a preface that I'm not a therapist because I'm going to say things anyway. Competitive spirit things a lot. Logan and I took the camera and started filming random stuff we did around our house. We started watching YouTube videos as our form of entertainment. Our favorite channel was called Smash. We loved their videos and wanted to create our own channel. So, being the savages we were, we did. And we called it Zoosh. God damn it, Logan, what were we thinking? It was almost the exact same as Smash. In the meantime, my parents had started fighting and eventually got a divorce. This was a bit of a hard time for Logan and I, but at the end of it, it taught us a lot about life. By the time I was in middle school, as you can imagine, I was the class clown, always causing trouble, making jokes, and I couldn't sit still. I didn't like school. I still don't. In eighth grade, our class would go on a trip to Washington, D.C. at the end of the year. But you couldn't go on the trip if you had 15 behavior strikes. By the middle of the year, I had 14. So I became a good kid for the rest of the year and got to go on the trip, savage. As a freshman, I no longer wanted to go to the NFL. Football just wasn't- Why are we watching anymore. his Draw My Life? Wrestling seemed to interest me more. Can I just say something not to like that? Um, why is this the third episode? It feels like it should be the first. Yeah, this is the only one so far that has really been about Jake. He's not in it, which is shocking for the third episode, but this should have been the first. Just get rid of Katie Morton. I know, sort of, like, get you whatever, but, like... Jake Lore. I don't know if... Like, it doesn't seem like it's a coincidence that, like, his parents broke up. He said he was going through a hard time, which led to him getting 14 behavioral strikes. And then he decided, if football's boring, and now I want to wrestle. Like, that's a kid with a fuck ton of anger issues. The only more aggressive sport than football is wrestling. Or maybe one that was forced to do football because of his dad, and now his dad's not really in his life anymore, and he's doing wrestling because he wants to do wrestling. Jesus Christ, Shane, look at me giving a different perspective, and I'm not even the one making the series. Yeah. That's somebody who needs to take out all that anger, and they can't do it at home, so they do it. After wrestling season, I found myself lost. 
I didn't know what my future looked like. I didn't know what I wanted to do. This went on for a couple of months until... I'm gonna be honest. Sorry. This sounds like such... I'm gonna literally mur fucking fly. Um, this sounds such like a mean thing to say. Everything we're seeing in this drama in my life is pretty standard to like most people's experiences. Like this is really not anything this revolutionary. Sorry. I found out about the Navy SEALs. It was everything I loved. Hard work, mental toughness, guns, fast vehicles, competition. For the next couple of months, that's all I could think about and do. Until summer came and USA, Logan said to me, start USA. making videos again. I was so down. Randomly, two weeks later, this app called Vine had just came out. I told my Adam versus the fly. <laughs> bro about it and he loved it too. Two weeks later, we got into a competition, of course, on who could get more followers. So, here we were in the oh middle God. of our lives, spending hours. This fucking competition shit right. sucks. Yeah. Well, also, like... They or maybe a good motivation. They trained us to have a competitive spirit. They're trying to get them to be better go at football. Like, go to the NFL. Like, they kind of train them to do this. Right. I realized that I could make money from making videos. This was amazing. I didn't know what to do except freak out. It got to a point where I would go to wrestling tournaments and the competition would ask to take pictures with me or be freaking out. Sometimes, though, they would film me if I lost and post it on Vine talking that smack talk. The videos just made me laugh, though. The bad part about oh all of fame and money is that attracts haters. People in my school, the kids that I grew up with, started hating on me. They would talk so much smack and tweet me the nastiest things. At first, this really upset me and it was hard to deal with. My mom would see the haters and call their moms and yell at them. <laughs> Love you, mom. Eventually, though, I realized that they were just jealous and that was their way of expressing it. I knew that I could turn my internet fame into something massive. And so that's what I set out to do. On my last day of school, I said goodbye. Most kids were still talking smack and a teacher even asked me, what are you going to do when social media dies on my way out? I just smiled and waved. They didn't understand the vision. 17 and in Los Angeles with a lot to prove, I started grinding every day trying to make things happen. I started by going to acting classes, improv classes, and meeting with anyone I could. But I knew I wanted to do social media, acting, and business. This is when I created Team 10. It started with Alyssa and I. Wait, he created Team 10 whenever he was 17? No. What? No. I mean, that's a lot of responsibility for a 17-year-old. And kept growing, and then now we're growing more and more each month. I mean, eventually, while all of this was happening, I then got called into audition for Disney Channel's new show called Bizarre Park. Oh my god, he was it on was Disney, I forgot. It was and nerve-wracking. My brother said to me, either come back Dirk, or come back on your shield. After a couple of auditions and beating out the other actors, I came back Dirk. I remember getting the call and just freaking out. I legit almost cried. It was a dream come true. I filmed the first season of the show already and we start filming season two here in a couple months. The other week, I got to do the infamous, hi, I'm Jake Paul and you're watching Disney Channel with the wand and everything. <laughs> it's about to be 2017 and that's basically my life in a nutshell. Posting every day on YouTube, acting, doing business, making comedy skits for Instagram and laughing the rest of the time. If you aren't already a Jake Pauler, you better join the family because we are just getting started. And 2017 is going to be really the craziest to. year. We got this. I think, I think that Jake doesn't really have a dad. He just has a boss. Cool. Why the fuck is he whispering? He's not here. Speak up. Shame projecting his daddy issues. Um, I would say so. All right, let me give my final takes on this third installment. So here's the thing. Like someone mentioned earlier, this needed to be the first episode because this told us everything we know about Jake Paul. However, we spent the first two episodes talking shit about him. Um, 
this layout, I don't get it. I don't, and it's the only reason I'm still continuing to watch this because it's so unpredictable. Like, nothing about this makes sense from a documentary standpoint. It's really badly done. Like, it is so badly done. I don't understand the narrative. I don't understand the editing. I don't understand, I don't understand anything to do with it. That's the only reason I'm continuing to watch Next episode is, is the interview with, like, Nick and, like, the enemies and stuff. And then we meet Jake. So, again, from this point on is when I stopped watching it whenever I was younger. So, like, in 2018. So, I mean, I'm excited to continue watching just because I have no idea where it's going. And that's not a compliment. I'm not being like, I have no idea where it's going. I'm like, I have no idea where this is going. Well... There's episode three.